Uh, morning everyone, how are you guys doing? Today is one of the most special days of my life. Why is that you ask? Well that's purely because today I've been given the keys to a Lamborghini Aventador. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you what it's like to have a Lamborghini Aventador for 24 hours for your daily life. We're gonna do everything we can with the Lamborghini Aventador. What does the one in question look like? Well it looks like this. <laughs> This is the beast. It's orange Lamborghini Aventador <coughs> with a black roof. It's completely stock, but it has the stock Lamborghini exhaust, the sports exhaust, and it's bloody loud. So rather than just chatting to you about what it's like to drive a Lamborghini Aventador for 24 hours, why don't we hop on in and go on this adventure together? special is just take it to some mountain roads and blast it. So that's exactly where we're heading right now. do all the usual things that I would do in 24 hours. Probably gonna go do a bit of food shopping because I'm running out of food at the house. And just all the usual things you do. So I'm gonna show you what it's really like to live with a Lamborghini Aventador. It's boiling so you might hear the AC on, but one of the first things you have to do when you're in a car like this is uh, refill it. So we're at the petrol station right now in the Aventador. We've got, yeah, just under half a tank left. But yeah, it's time to refill the car and we've always got it in sport mode because it opens up the flaps. I don't know if you heard that, but the valve of the car gets so much louder 
when it's in sport mode. You enjoying it? Crazy! So here we go, refilling the Aventador then. This is one of the things you gotta do. So we just refueled the car. Um, it was around 70 euros or something like that. Now we are gonna go cruise around. There are a bunch of spotters, so we just want some spotters to get some photos of the car. Cruise around and then we're gonna go run our sort of daily errands and run around and do what we're gonna do. We happen to also be, you guys probably won't be able to see it, cruising with an FF and 9N1 GT3 RS behind and a McLaren P1 in front. Uh, there's just a Renault Clio which is currently between myself and the P1. So, yeah, not ideal, but we'll show you the P1 in a second. Because this car is quite loud, whenever there is, um, let's say just police around, press strada, nothing, no noise. So that's what we have done, so that we don't get unnecessarily stopped. It's not illegally loud or anything, it's perfectly legal, it's just sometimes they'll stop you just because they think your car may be illegally loud. So there's something you have to deal with every day when you got your Lamborghini Aventador. Pass them back into sport mode. So there's the P1 that we're following. There's another problem, especially with hypercars, is the turning circle. Let's see if we're gonna make it in the Aventador. Oh, yes we are. again to go see of your car so happy days for everybody the amount of photographers is crazy more for the P1 than anything else I've never seen this many car spotters before madness having a car like this so Josh is gonna hop out you take the camera and you go get some food and then after let's find somewhere to eat it okay sweet five minutes five minutes yes and someone's already asked for a ride so fine I reckon five minutes okay sweet right so I'm going to get shot into Seb uh, first thing I think we need are some uh, chocolate chocolate will do uh, we haven't got long because he's only got five minutes uh, what else can we get this is supercar brunch. Hey, so I just picked up that, so I hope you like that step. Um, and in the meantime, I'm just gonna wait and watch some pretty little cars. Seb's just been so long now. What do you think, Pigeon? Yeah? He's given up, he's gone home. He's like, stuff this. Seb's taking too long. All right, back. So we got donuts and a baguette. Yeah? Yeah, I'm impressed. Good. Now to... we need to find somewhere to eat it. Yeah. Well, I aim to please. Oh god, this thing's right in the middle. Anyways, that's my <laughs> camera holder. We're driving around, we're stuck in traffic, and we got donuts. So we figured we might as well give someone a donut. Give it to this guy. Yeah, we got. We have to give show him the pack here, otherwise it'll be poison. Hello. You good? You want a donut? You're in my video. You're in the video. Look. <laughs> Say hi to the camera. Say hi. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, you're good, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. That's all right. 
So we have come to have a late lunch. Warming up your sand. No, don't put it with the plastic. <laughs> oh, you want to go all out? Are we going all out? We need to warm our sandwich up. And the engine's quite warm. This is daily life with an Aventador. That's our table for today. How is this? And look at the view. This is bottom tray. And then we can go top tray. <laughs> Panini. So another thing that happens is also whenever you park up wherever, it ends up being a flock of people that <laughs> are you enjoying that panini? I've already finished mine here. <laughs> you slow eater. <laughs> so we've just had a little picnic by the sea here. And a lot of other people have come to join and look at the car. But look at all of those cars. It's pure madness. Anyways, we have a few hours left of the Aventador. Not entirely sure what we're gonna do. Let's see. I love tunnels! After some tunnels, your last day, well last day, last thing you do with your Aventador is take it to like a car show. So look, we're back where we first started and there are a bunch of cars showing up. So, James is parking next to us. It's gonna be a fun little show. For the first time, I'm here with like an insanely cool car. Well, whoa, zooming in. Um, I know this vlog is about the Aventador, but I couldn't just not show you this because that's just pure madness. There are supercars everywhere. P1 there, Aventador, GT3, SLS, and everyone's just going crazy. And as you can tell, there are a lot of spotters here. So if you're wondering what it's like to line up your supercars in Monaco on the port, that's what you'll end up with. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even dreams must come to an end, guys, and today has really felt like a dream. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for the support. I wouldn't be able to do this stuff without you. Thank you to the owner, obviously, for lending me the car for the day. But it's now parked back up at the Fairmont. People are going mental. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you too one day get the chance to experience the Lamborghini Aventador because it's really a serious piece of machinery. As usual, please remember to subscribe and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, cheers, bye. We decided we'd take the car to an underground car park and I reckon best is if we just go there and show them. Yeah, I think that's the best idea. Yeah, come with us, guys. Okay, let's get this camera to focus. There we go, it's focused. So, this is where it happened, right in there, which is the car park and the little street where we got caught. So I think what we should do is move further forward and just draw out the whole scenario for you. So weird going back up to happen. Haven't been back since with the police. This is it pretty much.